Hey everyone, this is going to be a comparison between the best of Apple, the iPhone 7 Plus, against the best of LG, the LG V20. So let's get started by powering both these on. Now the V20, first phone in the world to run Android N 7.0, and the iPhone on iOS 10.0.2. iPhone always wins a boot up test, so we'll see if there's a difference here, don't expect it to be. Yeah, so iPhone again undefeated in the boot up. And let's just make sure none of the apps open. And LG not far behind here. All right, so let's go over to app page. Nothing open. All right, guys, so by usual in this video, we're going to cover the whack. We go over to app opening, game opening, web browsing. Uh, excuse my voice guys, just feeling a little bit sick tonight, but you know, I want to get all these videos out for you. Um, give me your camera speed, benchmark, multitasking, and more. So first up, Tump Run 2. And iPhone always wins at the games, and no exception here. So the iPhone has A10 chipset with 3GB RAM, and the LG... Snapdragon 820 with 4. Alright, so next up, CNN. And you see here, LG win this one very easily. iFunny. Alright, so that one goes to the iPhone. YouTube. That one really close. Calculator, shouldn't be any difference there, just not. Clock, same thing. eBay. Again, very close. Asphalt 8. So just going over more of the specs, both these phones have dual cameras on the back. Two of the only phones with dual cameras. As you see there, again, iPhone win that. Although they do have a little bit different uh, setup, so with the iPhone you're getting better zoom, with the uh, LG you're getting widescreen. So different use for the second camera. And this is Photos, so this is a different app, but uh, I think they're the main app used on each system, ESPN. Alright, so that one goes iPhone. Settings. About the same. And so here is an Intuitive Benchmark. Now on iPhone here you see excellent score, highest on any phone, 181,000, and score of 144,000, so that is one highest that you see on Android. Alright, so next up, let's do some web browsing. And we're just going to go to a few sites I've been to and a few I have not. IGN. Yeah, my voice really... Terrible, but again, want to get this out for you guys. Uh, so this one goes iPhone. Let's go to Nintendo. All right, it's so iPhone here. And now let's go to a couple I have not been to. Let's go to Ted. Like this one on the other phones, but not these ones yet, so ted.com. Alright, so that one again goes iPhone. And one more, I think it was NASA. So again, this one I have not been to. All right, so NASA.gov. And again, iPhone here. So yeah, guys, iPhone, faster web browsing. So far doing very well, although I will say the LG has done pretty well in a lot of the app opening, I think, giving iPhone a good run for its money. Let's go look at the camera speed. So again, both these phones, dual cameras on the back. Now the LG. 
uh, 60 megapixels versus uh, 12 on the iPhone. And just going to use the main one. So a little hard to tell when it's actually taken, but I mean, obviously, really not much of a difference. Both extremely fast. All right. Next up, let's look at the fingerprint scanner. So not a big fan of where it's located on the LG. It's here on the back. On the iPhone, it's right here. And on iPhone, you actually have to press down on it. The LG, you don't. And you see that the LG is faster. Although, again, I do prefer the fingerprint scanner placement on the iPhone. But LG, better, faster. One more. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I got to go to bed. All right. Um, let's see. We'll do... We'll do some uh, multitasking. All right, so let's go to, let's go to temp run two. All right, so you see here on the LG, it is restarting on the iPhone, it's still up. Go to another one. Start from the beginning again. Let's go to CNN. Easily faster here on the iPhone. YouTube. Again, fast here on the iPhone. So yeah, definitely gonna hand this one to the iPhone, but there's obviously a lot more to it than just the speed. Um, as you guys just saw, the LG is faster with the fingerprint scanner. Um, let's see here. We'll just do one more. We'll do Asphalt 8. All right, Asphalt 8. And again, faster than the iPhone, although both pretty quick. So going over some more of the specs, both these phones, pretty large screens, 5.5 inches versus 5.7 on the LG, 513 PPI on the LG versus 401 on the iPhone. Um, again, both dual rear facing cameras. In terms of front facing, you gain seven megapixels on the iPhone versus five on the LG. Um, in terms of internal storage, so 32, 128 or 256 for the iPhone 7 Plus and 64 gigabytes for the LG V20. Although for the V20, you are getting micro SD card support, which you are not on the iPhone. So big advantage there for the LG. Uh, in terms of battery, 2900 capacity for the 7 Plus versus 3200 for the V20. And it is removable also on the V20. Um, Snapdragon 820 for the V20, uh, 4 GB RAM. A10, 3 GB RAM for the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus also does have some features. Uh, stereo speakers, waterproofing, LG V20 does not have that. Um, of course, both fingerprint scanners on the bottom. Uh, the iPhone has lightning port, the LG V20, USB Type-C. LG V20 also has a headphone jack. You don't have that on the iPhone. And it mostly covers it. Oh, yeah, and something I'm sure you guys noticed. <clears throat> so on the V20, actually, it's not up here. Let me just go back to the main screen. So on the V20, you see you do have this secondary screen up here. Really cool feature. Really haven't gotten much of a chance to use it yet, but uh, we'll be doing some videos on that. And then let's look at the design. So both these phones, really high quality material. Uh, if you guys watch my LG G5 videos, you know, I think that that phone, I really don't like the design of that phone. I think it's, uh, they have like a sheet of plastic covering the back coating and it's, I just think it doesn't feel that good, but on this, very premium feeling on the V20. And same with the iPhone, both very premium design, metal, aluminum. And again, another look at the front. So personally, I think I prefer the design of the LG V20. Um, 
but yeah, I think both pretty good design and most important, feel very premium to hold. And so yeah, guys, that mostly covers it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please subscribe more like this in the future. We'll be having a lot more comparison videos on the channel. And thanks again for watching.